Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to uh, give you a quick preview of the 20 handlebar. This is the HBR T1002R. It's basically Windom band. It's not the same as Protaper band and um, and rental for Windom, but it's close. It's close. So this handlebar it's quite cheap, I don't remember the price, I think it's around, uh, put a link in the description for this product if you want to purchase it so you can use it. It's quite cheap and you have one here guaranteed that if it bends, you will uh, get a new one, no question asked. In the unboxing, in the last video of the unboxing, I didn't uh, saw this one. And it was in the uh, packaging and of course, it wasn't free, so when you're purchase, purchasing this one, you're not getting the pad. So you need to uh, pay extra, I think $9 for this one. I choose the, um, the black color. I wanted to go with the red at the beginning, but then it will be too much red. So I decided to go with black. Um, so let's see the quality of this one. Again, simple bar made in Taiwan according to them I think so yeah made in Taiwan in this uh, shiny sticker by the way it made out of 7075 T6 alloy aluminum which uh, should be should be strong enough to not bend that easily I think that's why they are uh, giving you that one year warranty of no question ask if it got bent so let me put it on the scale and I'll be with you in um, few seconds so I put it on a scale <laughs> I had to improvise a bit I don't have a digital uh, scale with me right now so I use this one and it says 680 grams so I don't know um, how much the rental or pot upper both uh, fat bars and twin walls are um, what the weight so um, so if you can tell me in the comments that will be great it feels light and very rigid the quality is very very good it seems to be um, this side is gnarled grip area or gnarled I don't know if I should pronounce the K or not I should uh, have checked in Google Translate before making this video anyway so this nice area and this one is um, smooth for the throttle body. Uh, that's it, guys. It's basically an handlebar. I don't, I didn't mount it yet on the uh, on my bike, so I don't know to tell you uh, how it fits and how it feels. I can see there is a, a sweep to it, which is good. I'm, I'm, I'm a guy of a big sweep. I like Mandel about to have like 55 to 57 uh, of sweep millimeter of course and the rays the current the current handle bar that I have it's the uh, rental twin wall 997 and I'm in love with it I know it's a high bar and but I just like the sweep and I'm also taking the bar a bit towards me so I have more control on the front and um, in general I really like this um, this handlebar bar but because of the price of this and the one year guarantee I decided to go with this one just to check it and because of the color combination it's really nice it may be uh, it's not the best red they, uh, but, but it's okay maybe the GoPro color preset will show it more red but it's a um, kind of a light red <laughs> it's not like this one so I don't know if you can tell the difference but this one is a much rich red than this one but it looks nice it looks nice so I'll put it on the bike and let you know what I'm thinking about it and how I like it it's going to be a lower uh, a lower bar but no you need to try to, uh, to try new things to see if it fits me or not. So 
thanks for watching guys please subscribe to the channel give the thumbs up and if you have any questions or you just want to comment let me know and i'll do my best to provide you the answers and stay tuned uh, for the video that uh, i will show you the um, handlebar mounted to the bike and give you a further review how it feels before i'm uh, finishing this video i just want to mount the pad so you can see how it looks like i think it looks nice okay guys so stay tuned for the next video in which i will um, show you how it mounts on the bike and how it feels bye bye